Hello YouTube. So this is a video to prove that 3n plus 1 is big omega of n. So here we have the definition. It says that f of n is big omega of g of n if f of n is greater than or equal to some constant times g of n uh, whenever n is greater than or equal to k or for all n greater than or equal to k where our constant c is greater than 0 and our k is greater than 0. So they're both positive. So let's go ahead and prove that. Um, what we can do is we can uh, just guess a constant and a k value that would make this equation here true. So I'm just going to choose uh, 2 for our c. So c equals 2. And I'm going to choose our k to equal, I don't know, we we'll, we'll go with 5. As long as our k is greater than 0 and as long as our c is greater than 0. So these two are acceptable. So our f of n is equal to 3n plus 1. And our g of n is equal to n. So we want to use this equation here. And we're just going to substitute the f of n, g of n, c, and k for these values here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and erase this to give me some room. So all we have to do is show or prove that 3n plus 1 is greater than or equal to our constant 2 times our g of n, which is n. And I have for all n greater than or equal to k, but it may be better to see it as whenever n is greater than or equal to our k value, which is 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some algebra here to see if this is true or not. You can either you can plug in numbers and you can kind of get a feel to see that this is true uh, whenever n is greater than or equal to 5. But we'll go ahead and show it and prove it here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to divide um, both sides by n. So now we're going to get uh, 3 plus 1 divided by n is greater than or equal to 2 whenever n is greater than or equal to 5. Alrighty, so uh, next up what we want to do is we want to see what this 1 divided by n maximum value is going to be. So since we said whenever n is greater than or equal to 5, the maximum value that n can be is um, 5. So that would give us 3 plus 1 divided by 5 is greater than or equal to 2. And let's suppose that we chose another value for n, like 6, because n can be greater than or equal to 5. So we could have chose 6. But as this denominator uh, increases, the whole value decreases. So the maximum that this can be is 5. And let's see if this is true. Well, you can already see it's true. So we have uh, 1 divided by 5 is, uh, I think it's 0.2. So we have 3.2 is greater than or equal to 2 whenever uh, n is greater than or equal to 5. And this is always true. And uh, so therefore... Three n plus one is big omega of n, and that's it. So thank you guys, and please subscribe.